preparation is crucial to your success. Clear the area of archers and guards before confronting your assassination target. Out here, old man. Please, I've done nothing wrong. Why are and you doing this? <laughs> Maybe you haven't noticed, but you've already lost. of them? I hope so. Still, best not to take any chances. I'll hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon, either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured, I won't forget it. You won't find battle crisis anywhere! Come on, come on! I've much to say! Please, 
You're hurting me. Spend your time teaching. Here's yeah. something to say. I have exactly what you need, sir. Come you look like you need something. Let me show you everything I have. Which is why you've come to me. Do you understand? Yes. I am to deliver the letter to your merchant friend. And you know who to see? The same man as always. Do not think to betray my presence in this city. We have many eyes, many ears. And many arms, yes. Good for silencing those who say too much. I know this well. You have my word. Good. Then be quick about it. Time is short. It's only a matter of time before someone else discovers it. Tell him then, it's in his best interest to keep the souk secure. He won't meet with me. Too busy with this new deal of his. And the guards? Tried already. They won't lift a finger unless the order comes from him. Then what will you do? I'll go to Abu Nukut. The merchant king? <laughs> he won't see you. He doesn't have to. I've written him a letter that explains the problem. He can read it and decide for himself. Welcome! 
what you need. I'm sure of it. You need, I'm sure of it. Take a look. I've got what you need. I'm sure of it. Take a look. Big. You are built. Altair, it is good to see you, and in one piece. You as well, friend. I am sorry for your troubles. Think nothing of it. A few of your brothers were here earlier, in fact. Oof, if you'd heard the things they said, I'm certain you'd have slain them where they stood. It's quite all right. Yes, you've never been one for the creed, have you? Is that all? I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget myself. What business brings you to the mass? A man named Tamir. Al Muallam takes issue with the work he does. I meant to end it. I trust you have searched the area to better understand your enemy. Yes. Here's what I've learned. Tamir rules over the Souk El Salah. He makes his fortune selling arms and armor and is supported by many in this endeavor. Blacksmiths, traders, financiers. He's the single largest death dealer in the land. And have you devised a way to rid us of this blight? A meeting is being arranged at Souk El Salah to discuss an important sale. They say it's the largest deal Tamir has ever made. He'll be distracted with his work. That's when I'll strike. Your plan seems solid enough. I give you leave to go. Let Al Mualim's will be done. You may rest here until you are ready. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. <laughs> Dirty thief, I'll have your hand for that! Let go of me, I've done nothing wrong! Have a look. I have no interest in your calculations. The numbers change nothing. Your men have failed to fill the order, which means I have failed my client. We need more time. This is the excuse of a lazy or incompetent man. Which are you? Neither. What I see says otherwise. Now, tell me, what do you intend to do to solve this problem of ours? These weapons are needed now. I see no solution. The men work day and night, but your client requires so much, and the destination, it is a difficult route. Were it that you could produce weapons with the same skill as you produce excuses? I have done all I can. It is not enough. Then perhaps you ask too much. Too much? I gave you everything. Without me, you would still be charming serpents for coin. All I asked in return was you fill the orders I bring you, and you say I ask too much? 
You dare disrespect me? Peace, Tamir. I meant no insult. Then you should have kept your mouth shut. No, stop. Stop? <laughs> I'm just getting started. No, stop. You came into my souk, stood before my men, and dared to insult me? Must learn your face! No. Leave the body. Let this be a lesson to the rest of you. Think twice before you tell me something cannot be done. Now get back to work. I'll get to the Emperor! Be at peace. You'll pay for this. You and all your kind. It seems you're the one pays now, my friend. You'll not profit from suffering any longer. You think me some petty death dealer, suckling at the breast of war? A strange target, don't you think? Why me, when so many others do the same? You believe yourself different, then? Oh, but I am. For I serve a far nobler cause than mere profit. Just like my brothers. Brothers? Ah, but he thinks I act alone. I am but a piece. A man with a part to play. You'll come to know the others soon enough. They won't take kindly to what you've done. Good. I look forward to ending their lives as well. Such pride. It will destroy you, child. has reached me of your victory, Altair. You have my gratitude and my respect. Thank you. It is a shame that the other assassins continue to hold you in such poor regard. Rafiq, I do not care what the others think of me. 
As you wish, Altair. You should bring news of your victory to Al Malim. I'm certain he has more work for you to do. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Out of the machine, Mr. Miles. What's the matter, Doc? Miss Stillman is once again insisting I let you rest. Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Where's Lucy? Oh, don't worry. She'll be with us soon enough. So why are you doing all this, Doc? What are you hoping to accomplish? You turn the television on lately? Read the newspaper? Never cared much for that stuff. Then, let me sum it up for you. The world's a mess. It's pathetic, really. You've seen it firsthand yourself. A thousand years between you and your ancestor, and society remains just as barbaric, just as stupid. And your point is... Order, Mr. Miles. The world needs order. That is what we're working towards, and that is what you're helping us to achieve. <laughs> you expect me to believe you're building a better tomorrow? That's exactly what we're doing. The human race calls out for direction. They want to know why they're here, what they're meant to do. Well, we're going to tell them. And once they understand how to live their lives, everything will be better. Better how? An end to all conflicts. Large and small. Isn't that what you assassins strive for? Peace in all things? I told you, I'm not an assassin. Right, right. I still don't see where I fit into things. In time, Mr. Miles. In time, you'll understand. Or you won't. I don't care either way, as long as you show us where it is. Where what is? Sorry, I'm late. Ready to go? Yes, we are. Stop playing games, Mr. Miles, and lie down. When you are exposed, throwing soldiers from rooftops and into structures is a useful way to create an escape route. You've done well, Altair, and I'm confident that this is but the first of many successes. Tamir spoke as if he knew you well. He implied my work had a larger meaning. Significance comes not from a single act, but the context within which it is performed. The consequences born of it. Then is there more I need to know? Altair, your greatest failure was born of knowing too much. If I choose to withhold information, it is only to ensure you do not make the same mistake a second time. I see. 
No, you don't. And it will remain this way until you've learned your lesson. Still, you have performed competently. And as such, I restore a rank and will return a piece of your equipment. Go now, either to Akka or Jerusalem. There are men in both cities who require your attention. The Bureau leaders can tell you more about what needs to be done. <laughs>